The concept of somehow living on after your physical body has died is a mystery that every human has thought about at some point. Is there an afterlife? Does life begin again? Or does it all fade to emptiness? Ultimately, we may never know the exact answer to that, but by exploring the evidence that we do have, we can get closer to the truth. Today we are going to look at videos from six different people who have seemingly captured something beyond the scope of normal scientific understanding. Something paranormal. These videos contain massive waves of ghost or spirit orbs flying around, stopping mid-flight, changing colors, and even passing through walls. From my very own house to the inside of the Great Pyramid, here are the six creepiest waves of ghost orbs caught on camera. This first video was recorded by a man named Greg who decided to finally capture all the waves of orbs he had been encountering in his home. This particular video was filmed in his attic. This next piece of footage was captured inside of a man's living room as orbs begin to cover the room and swarm all around him. An interesting observation is that certain orbs have darker, more pronounced colors, whereas others remain partially transparent and white. A few minutes into this video, a bright and multicolored V-shape orb passes in front of the camera, seemingly changing colors and brightness. These next two video clips were recorded by a woman named Barbara in her very own bedroom. The first video shows off hundreds of bluish-white orbs drifting and floating around in a way that is reminiscent of the ocean's currents. In the second clip here, the orbs seem to be pulsing light. What this exactly means? I don't know, but it's fascinating nonetheless. This next incredible piece of footage was filmed back in April 2013. This was deep in a subterranean chamber of the Great Pyramid of Gaza in Egypt. All of this footage was recorded on a cell phone with its flash on during a vocal toning exercise. In the subterranean chamber of the Great Pyramid. The vocal toning can be heard throughout the video in the background. In this next part of the video, it looks as though the wave of orbs have slowed down to look at the person filming, then continue to move on. This next video was recorded by a father, his son, and his nephew at the Insetti Ranch in Trout Lake, Washington. The intention of this video was to capture orbs, UFOs, or whatever else they could find using a flashlight and a night vision app on a Samsung Note 3. Now here comes one. Here's an, here's an intelligent one. Oh, whoa, what the? There, here we go. Here we go. That's moving way too fast for bugs. I'm moving 30, 40 feet at a whack. Large waves of orbs can be seen flying in this video, but a few specific orbs seem to have destinations, or at least they're going somewhere. I'll let you decide.
All of the previous videos were filmed with cell phones, but this last video was filmed using the Xbox One's Kinect camera. This was recorded at my old house where paranormal activity was an every week occurrence. My girlfriend and I left the Kinect running while we went out to get some food. Strangely enough, nothing happened until we came back home and entered the room. If you look close enough, you can actually see the shock on my face. Minutes later, we tried to replicate the experience, believing it may have been dust or something else, but not a single orb showed up the second time. That's it for today's episode, so what do you think? Are these videos evidence of spirit orbs, or simply a series of strange phenomenons we don't understand? Whatever you think, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Be sure to share this around social media, and I'll see you in the next episode.